We have some benchmarks that emerged on these new uh, A14 chips. Well, you know the uh, the Apple Silicon. Yeah. You a big A14 guy or what? I like it. It looks pretty it's promising. Cool. This is uh, going to ship in the iPad Air 4, which was kind of the star, I, I suppose, the star of their recent event, uh, online virtual only event at Apple HQ over there. So I guess I uh, Ice Universe was the first to pick it up. He saw it pop up on Geekbench, and as expected, it, it blew the previous iPad Air out of the water because that thing only had an A12, but then they also compared it to the A13, that's uh, that's the current chip that's inside the iPhone 11s because people want to speculate on what those next gen iPhones might look like from a performance improvement perspective because it's always leaps with these series when they put out a new series and the iPhone has been a very powerful device depending on which metric you want to measure. There are many Apple fans out there that say it's hands down it's the fastest chip. That's it. It's the fastest mobile chip. Get out of my face. I mean, I don't say that because obviously there's various factors involved. Yeah. And uh, f and it's hard to fast doing what? Like fast out, you know, is, yeah. a, is a benchmark to be all and end all? Or how do you do these real speed tests? You know who was trying to figure that out? My old pal, Phone Buff. He yeah. would do speed tests where he's tapping the apps, opening mm -hmm. the apps, doing real world speed tests to figure out which is the snappiest. Now, of course, iPhone always does very well. So I'm not trying to downplay it. It's, mm -hmm. it, is, uh, it is arguably the fastest device in the world, the iPhone 11 Pro at the moment, arguably. And it's only going to get faster because this A14 chip, which may be optimized even further for the iPhone once it finally comes out, is, uh, is defeating the previous model on single-core and multi-core scores. Uh, when compared to the 13, it looks like it's about a 20 percent improvement i believe let me just track this down in the article here yeah 20 20 percent faster in single core and 28 percent faster in multi-core that's the a14 versus the a13 bionic that's in the current iphone 11 of course there could be some improvements on graphics as well comparatively and when you go all the way back to the a12 stuff it's much faster because those are obviously older products and if you're comparing ipad to ipad then that's what you would be looking at so I, I suppose that that is some promising news. There's an update, October 4th, which brings into the equation the metal score. And, uh, and once again, you see the graphical power improve also, which could be key because Apple is likely continuing to work on their, on their arcade product. You know, the mobile gaming thing, the game streaming conversation has become such a big, uh, big thing. And Apple has taken a stance uh, kind of against some of the rest of the industry in terms of how it's treating Microsoft, how it was treating Google Stadia, how it was treating uh, Amazon, who wants, wanted to launch a game streaming service or will launch a game streaming service. And of course, who am I missing? I am missing Facebook, who also wanted to launch mm -hmm. a game streaming service. And Apple has kind of been, well, they haven't been the most receptive to the idea of a single application, which then launches you into a variety of game streams. However, we have a new note here a note, a tweet from a user called Fudge who claims that Apple Arcade is now getting big money poured into it. Current titles are in the works aiming to rival the likes of Breath of the Wild. Uh, console level games. Mm -hmm. uh, if they can pile those into Apple Arcade, maybe people start forgetting about all the game streaming services that they can't get on right. iOS in the same way they can get on Android. So if I'm Apple, yeah, I'm doing that too. Mm -hmm. That's that would be a huge area of focus for me. I got all this money anyway. Mm -hmm. Let me get these real games going. Let's get some exclusives. Exclusives in that people really want to play yep. inside of the arcade pro. I don't know how many subscriptions people are expected to have. That's one of the issues. But if this thing is as powerful as these early benchmarks are implying, this could be one of the best mobile gaming experiences you could have, whether it happens to be on uh an iPhone 12 or a next generation iPad like the iPad Air 4. Mm. Something like that. iPad Air 4. That feels weird saying that. 